All right, legends, I'm back with another video, and in this one, we are looking at a new oil catch can. Uh, it's from a mob called ATP or AT Performance. Uh, they're located in Queensland in Australia, and I've been eyeing up some of their gear for a long time now because the quali quality looks top notch. Um, so I just purchased one, got it all in, and I've got to uh, say, first straight off the bat, the customer service. Uh, from this company is 10 out of 10. There were some hiccups with some uh, postage and uh, the guy sort of corrected everything, sent another one out. Um, he was just on top of everything. So word up, really appreciate that. But what I'm gonna do on this one is uh, I'm gonna do a sort of an unboxing, how it comes from uh, the company um, and show you the quality and everything, all the nice, beautiful welds, man, cause I love them welds. Uh, and then I'm able to finish off this engine bay. I've uh, got roll racing in two more nights. So it is Wednesday now. Uh, Friday night is Brisbane roll racing. This was one of the postponed events um, because of weather. And the weather doesn't look that great. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, uh, I'll do a nice little install here. Um, the engine bay is just going to look super sexy and super saucy. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, hook a brother up. Okie dokie, this is what I have been waiting for. Mm -mm -mm. So first off the bat, we have a power steering reservoir relocator. Just moves it um, maybe about 50 mil uh, closer towards the center of the engine. Um, we've got some nuts and bolts um, and then the masterpiece. So well packaged, definitely well packaged. Because you wouldn't want to scratch this because it comes powder coated. Oh, that's just sexual. It's like blemish free. Wow. Oh, look at that. That's nice. So my understanding is um, uh, they're all laser cut pieces and then uh, TIG welded uh, to perfection. And then um, obviously powder coated. So the breather is here um, and this is a really large breather um, even though it looks very stylish. Uh, two dash 12 so the breathing goes in really nice. We've got a drain port, we've got mount, one mount here and one mount there and I've got a dragonfly in here. Cool. Um, very happy with that. So um, I'll get the camera down and we'll do a, um, a nice close shot. Oh yeah, very nice. Look at that, it's flawless, this thing. Very yummy. Very nice welds. Wish I could weld like that, mate, so uh, props to you on that. Mm -mm -mm. Very sexual. Okay, nice. And then she's going into this spot right here. So what I like about this setup is it's very symmetrical. Um, I'm gonna have black here, black there. Uh, the exhaust side comes on an angle out to this light and so does the uh, intake side and then obviously you've got the uh, two shotgun parallel sort of um, covers right in the center there. If I was to put this wrap, which I will do on here, then it's going to really sort of make it all nice and symmetrical. So that's quite cool.
Okay, so um, just a quick little one, and it's pretty evident really, but um, this is the mount that comes off the factory reservoir. So the reservoir, sort of the back of it, clicks down into that, or this clicks up into it. So pretty much we're cutting off this section, and we're making it into a 90 degree, and that's what this here is. So I'll take these two bushings out of here, chuck it into there. That's the same uh, connection as this and then it puts it on the side pretty much. So it's looking rather sexy, uh, but you can see now the mount is on the side there. So it's a 90 bracket. So that looks like um, it works very well.